Welcome back to some more MX versus ATV Supercross Encore. Today we are going to continue our Faster Line series that we're running within the Encore series. We're going to go to Atlanta, Indianapolis, and Detroit. Now the first two tracks I do two laps on a piece, and Detroit I do one full lap. It's the consistent lap that I take. It's kind of like Dallas for me there. I can't consistently put together some of those bigger lines, but I will show you the other two lines that you can take that I was not able to get on the first lap. It's a shorter video, but nonetheless, we try to show off some of the the quicker lines that I take. Not the fastest lines. These aren't the fastest lines, maybe, but they're quicker ones that can at least kind of can they can keep you competitive in multiplayer. So we're gonna jump into this and we're gonna hit Atlanta first. Okay, so we are here at Atlanta. Now this lap that I do is Probably what I would consider the faster line. You don't need to preload that, but I was doing it for the sake of being sure that I was going to get together a full lap. It, to me, it was important to try to string together, you know, two laps with two different line choices. One more consistent, one faster. Here, you can triple, triple, triple with no preload, or you can quad in the middle there, but you... I think it just sets you up better for this line right here, which is the bigger line. And it took me a while. I don't know why I was having trouble hitting that one, as well as this next section here coming up I think I think this is a quad quad we almost pushed over that berm yeah quad quad and then well kind of a quad out too and here I kind of messed this line up you can take that and preload and then just hit that last single into the corner or you can take the inside but it was important to me to get to a lap together so that's the best we get I think we hit a different hit that line a little bit different on this next lap that we we do we almost loop there too I was so worried because I was almost done and that's what usually happens to me is at the very end I'll mess it up and then not get what I want okay for this lap it's really similar but it's the more consistent line again you don't have to preload that but I was doing it just to make sure we actually get over it you don't really need to preload this I don't think I do no we don't here you can actually Preload that and quad into this next one and then have a single into the corner. But again, for me, it's about being set up. And I think it sets you up better, you know, going about it this way. I don't know if it's quite as fast, but it just, it feels better. And this is a really easy line to hit. This is a really consistent one. It's not quite as fast, but again, sometimes taking that consistent line can still get you, get you wins or at least get you on the podium in multiplayer. Here, you don't have to preload the second triple, but we over jumped, so I did and, um, you know what it should look like, so, but if you hit it just right, you don't have to preload. And then I think I take the inside here, and then we can jump all the way into the corner. I don't know if it's worth preloading. I did, but I don't know if it's really worth it. And then everything else is the same. Nothing changes here. I think we get a better run through the whoops here. Uh, let's take a look. I don't think I get as close to looping, but definitely worth preloading into him. You carry more speed, and then that's it. Simple lap, simple, consistent, and pretty easy to get. Indianapolis, a relatively easy track, kind of like Minneapolis. There's not too many different choices you can take here, but this line right here is the faster way. And I can tell you, I spent so much time trying to get that. I don't know why, but I was struggling. I was coming up short every single time, and it's really not that tough to hit. It's less consistent, but it is what I think is the faster way through there. I mean, aside from any kind of glitch you maybe can do there, I think that's the quickest way through it. And then this section coming up, this rhythm section, I don't know if this is faster. It's kind of how I strung this lap together, but we do a triple. You could get a preload in there. I didn't. Triple again, and then you can quad out. It doesn't really matter too much because you're going to touch the same amount of times, I think, anyways. So that's what we went with. And then we have two triples here. Really simple. And then we go for a triple here. And you could quad this, but I wasn't hitting it. I was just kind of casing into it. I don't think that was really faster, so I just... Um, did the triple single. Now, I'm not so sure this is actually the slower lap. This is another line. I think this... The way we hit this section here, I think, is maybe a little slower because you're, you're breaking into that corner more, but... I mean, I came up a little short there, uh, but I don't know if that's a lot slower. And then the way we go about the... After the section after this triple coming up, I think is 
maybe faster. I think we only touched once, so we jump in and basically jump out. I think, we'll have to see, I don't remember now. But we take the inside here, you have a double, you don't really need to preload that, and then we quad, and quad again. So yeah, I'm not sure, I think that might be faster. It feels faster, I don't know, I've never really timed laps, I always say that, so. And this might be quicker too, you can, what is this, a quad? Quad double into the corner, and I'm sure with the glitch you could probably do more than that. We are at Detroit. Now this track, again, I said it's kind of like my Dallas. It's hard for me to throw down consistent laps here. It actually didn't take me too long to get this first lap, but it's a really typical way of going about it and so on and so forth. But you can triple and triple without preloading. I had to preload out because we came up a little short. Quad and then single into the corner. Take the outside. You don't need to preload this. You want to step on, step off there. And then I triple here, but you can actually quad that. And I will show you that after we finish this lap. And then there's a set of whoops here. And you can jump on, jump off that table. I think it's probably quicker to preload over it and then just go into the last part of the whoops. Take this corner and then you can actually preload this and get that last one there and then jump off the table. And I also show you that in the, the next part where we kind of have to split it up because I couldn't get a consistent lap. Triple into the corner. You can triple here and then have a single into the finish line. I don't really think it's faster. So that's that's what we did right there. Okay, here's the quad. I was having trouble getting this consistently, but you're in the air so long. I don't really know if that's faster, but it's still a really fun line to take. And then we just kind of stick together the other part of it. We'll jump over this table and I'll show you a different way of going through this. Uh, probably a quicker way, but it was tough for me to consistently get this one too. I don't know why I was struggling so bad. You can jump out and then have a single into the corner. And that's basically the only differences from the first lap we ran. Uh, like I said, those aren't the fastest lines. Those are just lines that I know how to take. And this, these last two were really tough for me to get consistently. Okay, so that covers Atlanta, Indianapolis, and Detroit. Now, I feel really bad that Detroit is kind of like my Dallas. I'm st I struggle there, and I know those lines really are sketchy, and that first one's a really, really standard way of going going around the track, but I tried to stick together at least two of those other lines that I couldn't... I could hit them, but I couldn't, like, do the whole lap. If I hit that part, I'd mess up the front part or something like that, so it was really tough for me, but at least I wanted to show you that those, those lines are possible, and uh, you don't need to do any kind of whip glitch to get over it or anything like that so three more tracks i'm not sure exactly what's next i don't remember i think many uh minneapolis is maybe next something like that we'll have to see toronto probably and we'll go from there but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on this series i hope it's helping if you were looking for some faster lines i hope this can uh kind of help a little bit at least so thank you so much you guys and girls are absolutely amazing as always and until the next video take it easy